Mmm. Judge a bovine by its size, do you? Mmm, yes. Good morning, guys. So I'm actually waiting for my brother-in-law, Jason. Uh, his channel is 77 Crossbar Ranch. Um, he texted me a little while ago and uh, said their power went out. And since they don't have power, they don't have furnace. It just went out a little while ago, so the house is still warm. Um, they do have a generator, but I don't know. He said it's too cold for it to start up. So I don't know if the fuel line froze or I don't know. Um, but he wants to borrow, I've got a couple Mr. Buddy heaters, uh, I'll show you guys. He wants to borrow those and see if he can put some heat to it and, uh, see if that'll start it up. So I've got that one and that one, hopefully it'll work and, uh, they can get the furnace or the, uh, generator started so they can get the furnace back on. Otherwise maybe they will have guests today and can come over and hang out with us. So I'll let you know. Well, Jason was able to use the uh, heater to get the generator started, so he's got his house powered and the furnace is back on. I've made my second iteration of milking gloves. This one, since it doesn't have anything in between my thumb and finger, I'm not worried about giving Prudence a blister. So we'll see how these work. These were um, kind of a tighter knit. They're not polyester, so I'm still a little bit worried about fraying, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm heading out to milk. It's really cold out, still in the negative but what are you gonna do? Hey guys, we are on our way to basketball practice. I have Homestead Boy 1 and Homestead Girl 1 back corner over there. We are very blessed that we have lots of family members around who are able to help us out when we need babysitters. Um, so we very seldom have to use non-family babysitters. But we, several years ago, we found one that we really like. The kids love, she's great. She, when we first asked her if she babysat, she pulled out her business card, and I knew right then, like, this was gonna work out well. Uh, she always brings games for the kids to play, new games that they haven't seen before. Um, unfortunately, she goes to college in Florida, so we don't get to use her very often anymore, uh, only during the summer and then during breaks. So it worked out that we had to leave for basketball around four, and my wife was not gonna get home until probably around six. So rather than bundle the kids up and take them to the gym and all that stuff, uh, we just figured, hey, let's uh, see if she's available. And she was. So she's gonna watch the four youngest, or the three youngest, and then Homestead Boy too, uh, while we go to basketball practice. And the kids are super excited. And uh, in fact, Homestead Girl One is really bummed out that uh, she doesn't get to stay and play. But we're thinking maybe we'll try to see if we can use her one more time. Uh, not use her, but hire her one more time um, before she has to go back to school. So, uh, yes, we're very blessed that she's able to, and uh, we're heading off to practice. Hey guys, we just got back from basketball. I'm gonna head out and milk. It is really cold. Although I can't complain, it's not in the negatives. It's like eight or nine degrees, so that's relatively warm compared to what it's been lately. Um, so I'm heading out to milk. My dad came by earlier, they are back in town, and uh, he took the crossbow and uh, one of our targets over to the indoor range just down the road, and uh, he sighted in his bow, so his bow is good. I uh, talked to them about his old compound bow, and it doesn't look like that's gonna work for Homestead Boy 2. They don't think it's gonna be able to be tuned down enough and the draw, string, the draw length will be too long. So I think we're probably gonna have to use this bow. This was uh, a buddy of mine who was moving to South Carolina gave this to me. Uh, they tuned it down to like 28 pounds um, and the draw length, it's a youth bow, so the draw length should not be too bad. So I think what we might have to do, because it doesn't have a sight on it, uh, it just has this, you know, arrow rest. I think what we're going to have to do is just take the sight off of my dad's bow that he's not using, the, the compound, and put it on here so that Homestead Boy 2 has a sight. Otherwise, he can just, you know, sight down the arrow for shorter range just to get something to do. So, but I think this is the bow we're going to use. It is a Browning Fox 2. Anyway, uh, this might be a two-day vlog. 
If this is a two-day vlog, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys. So, it's a little bit later than I was hoping to milk. You guys can see we got another, I don't know, inch of snow. Uh, it's not nearly as cold out, which is why I've only got a sweatshirt on. I mean, it's like nine degrees out, so it is warm as all get out. Um, the reason it's later than I wanted was we were inside. Homestead Boy 2 says to me, it's pushing cold air out of the vents. Put my hand over it. think he's just kind of exaggerating. Oh, it was pushing cold air out the vents. So, I tried troubleshooting it. Wasn't able to figure it out. The fan would not go off. Called my dad, trying to figure out, and the pilot light was not on, or the, there was no gas burning. We've got a natural gas furnace. So, called my dad. He said, well, let's see if the pilot light actually works. So I went and turned the furnace up because the temperature was fine. We were, we just keep the uh, thermostat at 65. It was at 65, so it wasn't calling for any heat, but the fan was still on. So turn it up to 68, pilot light came on, gas burned, hot air came out. So it's not a heat issue. We can get the heat on, which is good. Makes it a less urgent issue, but the fan still would not go off. So we're thinking... My dad is thinking, he's the uh, the one who knows more about this stuff than I do. He's thinking there's a faulty switch someplace. So I need to figure out where that faulty switch is and either have somebody come out and replace it or if I can figure out which switch it is, replace it myself. So in the meantime, it's later than I want. I've got to go out and milk. So I forgot my phone in the barn this morning while I was milking, which is okay because sometimes I just like to think. Other times I like my phone and I can listen to music or I listened to the Pistons basketball game last night. Anyway. This morning, my uh, my thoughts drifted to what Yoda would say about milking. And I have to backtrack a little bit. So Homestead Boy 1, who's right there, he likes to do voices. Uh, and one of his favorites is uh, Jar Jar Binks. Mr. Jar Jar Binks. Which I can't stand because I didn't like that character at all. Anyway, so here's, here's what I think Yoda would say about milking. Mmm! Strong with the hands, this one is. Yes. Or milk or milk not. There is no try. Or my personal favorite. When 900 years old you reach, tolerate the lactose you will not. So, I'm sorry, those are bad. Okay, so it was the easiest troubleshoot ever. Uh, it shouldn't have gotten to this point, but I figured if I had my baby with me, it'll all look cuter and I won't feel so foolish. Somehow someone turned the fan to on instead of auto. So the fan was just constantly running. I'm the only one who ever d touches the thermostat. So I didn't even look at the auto because I didn't, or I mean, I didn't even look to see if it was on. See right here, this switch right here, fan, auto, on. I never touch it. So there's no reason I would have checked it, but someone did it. My wife didn't, none of the kids are fessing up to it. So anyway, Simple fix. So, my dad just showed up. He picked up a couple 10 foot sheets of drywall. I'm going in here. So, he brought those 10 foot sheets of drywall. And they go back in the shop area. It's not set up as a shop right now. I keep on wanting to get it set up, but just not having time and too much stuff back here. But let me flip on the light so you can see. See that spot right there? That is where the drywall is going to go. So this summer, when we were working on the outside of the barn, I will try to put a link up here uh, for some of those videos. There had been two large doors here, like the ones that I just came through, because um, they had another barn door here. Well, we don't need a barn door here. So we put in a regular man door and now we can get in and out from the south side much more easily. When we did that though, there hadn't been any insulation here, so we framed this in, put the siding on, and now we need to insulate it. At the same time, you guys see that box right there? Uh, we ran electric to it, so we've gotta finish the connection there so that that outlet outside is good to go, and uh, then insulate it and put up the drywall and then eventually finish the drywall and paint it. But apparently somebody eventually, woke up too early. Fell asleep watching PBS Kids. My dad's been doing this.
So he finished the electrical outlet. He actually ran, I don't know if you guys can see the wire right up there, so we can put a light outside. There's a switch right behind him. And then I'm gonna help him throw up the drywall so we can uh, get it closed in. But now it'll actually not be a heat sink or a cold draw, so. Okay guys, our engaged couple just left. Uh, we just actually got home. I took Homestead Boys two and three and went and picked up Homestead Boy one from his, they had a swim dinner after practice. Um, then as soon as we got home, the engaged couple left. My dad is still here. It is, I don't know what, quarter to 10? Something like that, quarter to 10, 10 o'clock. He finished, uh, he's so good, he didn't even need my help. Um, so you guys can see, it's all insulated drywalled there is a light or there's a power line right there connected to a switch over there there's also um, power on the outside right there so we can run a, another um, motion sensing light and I'm heading out to milk them it's late it's cold good thing I milked late this morning so it kind of was offsetting now but I need to get to bed. I need to edit this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. He's Homestead Papa. I'm Homestead Dad. I'll see you guys in the next one.